Hey everybody, um, in this video what I'm going to show you is how to reschedule an appointment for your 485 Adjustment of Status interview. Um, that's really what I'm doing. I'm actually, you'll see me actually doing that on behalf of a client um, as I call the USCIS helpline, but you can apply it to pretty much um, any interview that you have. In this video, the reason that we are rescheduling is due to COVID and several interesting things happen throughout the video as you'll see. Uh, the first is that we actually get to listen to USCIS's new um, helpline prompt on its phone system, which now directs you to talk to its live chat instead of just asking you to mindlessly uh, browse their unhelpful website. And as I showed in a prior video here, you can actually get the live, use the live chat feature to schedule a call or to get some direct assistance or schedule an InfoPass appointment. Uh, sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit, hack it, but it, it can be done. And again, the video is right here. The other thing that's really interesting to listen to here is that I run into a bit of a snag when I'm calling, which unfortunately has, has happened a lot with USCIS, where uh, I, as the attorney, uh, have to have a what's called a G28 form on file to call on behalf of my client. That form, I am told at the beginning of the video by the USCIS officer, who's very nice, actually, um, they say, well, we don't see it on the file. And you'll see my response and how I get the officer to um, actually look into other ways of verifying me as the attorney and verifying that there's a G28 on file. And I know there's one because I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking at the package that I scanned and sent off. And I also have the USCIS receipt addressed to me, which you only get if the G28 is there. I want you to pay attention to the firmness of my voice, but also how loose and uh, polite I'm being to the officer. I want you to notice that this officer is actually quite chatty. We start talking about uh, Duke University basketball, the coach Krzyzewski, some other things that we have in common. And then at the end, I get a nice little nugget of in, you know information on, on where the officer was able to kind of verify my file. And you can use that uh, perhaps in your own um, talks with USCIS. And then finally, just, you know, I, I, I do go ahead and, and write down the case number at the end, uh, the case number for this call so that I get verification. And I ask follow-up questions once the interview is rescheduled, uh, as in when can I expect to hear back, what's going to happen next. And so you can get all that information there as well. Essentially, once you reschedule the interview, um, they will send you a verification email sometime after the interview. And that verification email will probably tell you, based on what um, what I've seen in the past and what they tell you here, you know, um, that a new interview will eventually be scheduled. Okay, so um, you don't have to just have uh, the reason of COVID to reschedule. There can be other reasons. Okay, so keep that in mind. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. And this is just part of my commitment to kind of show you real world ways that you can interact with the immigration system in the United States. Hopefully this uh, video is going to help you. I'd love it if you subscribed. If you like this video a lot, you know, we have this new kind of like donation button. We do work hard here to pay a staff to, you know, create these videos. So if you provide a donation, we'd be so, so honored um, to receive that from you. And, uh, you know, that, that comes in as part of our revenues and we use it to pay our staff to make more of these videos. So thank you so much. Subscribe, share this if you like it. And uh, yeah, it's great to see you again. So uh, I'm about to actually make an actual call for a client who needs to reschedule a 485 interview. And I'm going to show you what it's like. Uh, we're going to go right here, USCIS helpline. Um, this is the number that we're going to be calling 1-800- 375-5283. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, what I have. When you call and you want to reschedule your interview, you want to have your receipt from the I-485, not any of the other forms. Have the receipt from the I-485 and know your birthday, know your address that you filed under uh, with the application. Uh, be able to give your name and really just have your application in front of you so you can answer any questions that the USCIS officer is going to have. And so let's do this. Thank you for calling U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS. Para español, opina el número dos. To ensure a high quality of service, we record our calls. Me too. If you are a Ukrainian citizen and would like information well, on the new. Uniting for Ukraine process, please visit our website at uscis.gov forward slash humanitarian forward slash uniting hyphen for hyphen Ukraine. 
Um, we're gonna Unfortunately, have a video on we are that. experiencing high call volumes. You may wish to use the live chat feature that our virtual assistant, Emma, provides at uscis.gov forward slash Emma. At any time during this call, this say privacy notice to listen to our Privacy Act notice. I can understand complete sentences. So tell me, how can I help you? Reschedule interview. Are you calling about a biometric appointment, InfoPass appointment, or your interview? Interview. Don't forget, if you move during the application process, you need to notify us immediately or your application will be delayed. To speak to the USCIS, you must be the applicant, the petitioner, or the authorized G28 representative, or you must have the applicant present. One moment while I connect you to an information specialist. Your wait time for a USCIS specialist is five minutes. Would you like to continue to hold for an agent? I would. Thank you. So while I have this on mute, um, this is the receipt notice the for this we particular will your client. Call in the order in which it was received. Please have your alien registration number, receipt number, and copies of your paperwork available. Please be prepared to write down important information. Okay. Okay. So while USCIS has on hold here, I have I have the receipt notice, uh, which has all that information they asked for. Your A number is going to be up here, top right. Uh, so the A number in the top left, obviously, uh, we're not using real information in this image. We're kind of, but it is a real receipt. So I've had to, we're censoring, right? We're, we're redacting most of the information on here. But in the top right corner, you'll see the alien number or the A number. They're going to ask for that. And then you'll also have the receipt number, which is different, which is on the left, which is actually right above me here. Kind of has, it's right above the date that it was received. That's your receipt number. So you want to have those available. In addition, it's really good to have your application available. So for example, I have on hand my G28 for this particular case. And again, we are going to be redacting most of the information and I'm going to be make sh making sure that I give the address as the attorney that's on file. So let's, let's wait here for a second. What's interesting, you know, as we wait here is that USCIS has totally changed its introduction. It's a lot friendlier and it, they don't talk about finding information on the USCIS uh, website anymore, but actually about uh, contacting you contacting USCIS using the live chat feature. So they are highlighting that that live chat feature. So that's interesting. This is um, last time I called it was about a week ago. I don't think it was there. So this is a brand new change for USCIS that we're noticing. So the wait hasn't been too bad so far. Four minutes, 24 seconds. And they said, you know, we'd be waiting for five minutes, probably the first minute and a half of this, two minutes, let's say, was me just calling USCIS. So let's say we've been waiting for two and a half minutes. Pretty good by USCIS standards. Uh, they say five, so we can actually even test that on this call to see how long we actually wait. Why do I look like uh, not a lawyer today? Again, I've had, uh, I've been sick for the last few days, so I'm filming this from my basement as opposed to my office. What do I have here? Oh. It's just me um, wasting time with magic cards. Thank you for calling USCIS Contact Center. My name is James, agent ID number G200022708. Be more than happy to help you today. Do you currently have an A number or a receipt number? I do. I have both, and I'm the attorney on the account, so I also have my information. Okay. Um, it's the A number is. I'm sorry, give me one moment. Let's sure. clarify some information. I'll be more than. Happy to help you on this Tuesday. Sure, perfect. Yes, sir, absolutely. Just give me one moment here. And what's a good phone number for you, sir? A good callback number for me is... Thank you very much. And which form are you calling about today? This is about the 485, and specifically, we need to reschedule a 485 interview. Understood, sir. And may I have your first name, your last name, the attorney's, uh, the attorney firm name, and the location of that firm? Of course. My first name is Damian, D-A-M-J-A-N, J as in John, last name Denoble, D-E-N-O-B-L-E. -E. Um, the firm name is Frontera Tech Law. Frontera Tech is one word. And our address on record should be 1040 North Rogers Lane, PMB 2048, Suite 121, Raleigh, North Carolina 27610. 
Understood, sir. And can we get the applicant or petitioner on the phone with us? I do not see a G28 on file. That's impossible. I, we, I mean, we have, we receive, I'm literally looking at a receipt that's been sent to my firm, CEO Damian DeNoble for Interior Tech Law. So can we try a receipt number for it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. So let's do uh, receipt number MSC, Michael, Sarah, uh, Charlie, 2191 All right, sir. Let's pull this up. Yes, sir. I do not see a G28 on file. So can, can you just, so this is, this happens to us a lot where we have, we receive all of the application receipts from USCIS. Um, mm -hmm. with my name on them, with our mailing address. So what is happening where it's not, where the USCIS is not getting it on the file on your end and we are, yet we are getting all the receipts. Do you have any idea what happens there? No, sir. It seems like it's a little miscommunication. Let's see what we can find out for you. Okay, sir. All right. one moment here sure but other than that we'll be able to uh reason for the rescheduling of the i-485 sir covid understood give me one moment here sorry sir that's okay figure it out for you and there should be you guys should have a database of receipts that have been sent out um and maybe it can show that you've sent out two copies of receipts one to the attorney of record and one to the applicant yes sir so the reason for the rescheduling is covid covid correct correct right. Give me one second we're going to uh, work with on that rescheduling for you thank you all right, sir. Give me one moment as I piece together this information. And when is that appointment, sir? Um, our, our interview appointment is this coming Thursday at USCIS Raleigh. Raleigh, okay. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And is this you? Is this a form subtype based on employment, family? Two forty-five I. That's a family. Family two forty-five I. So the okay. sub-subtype is a 245i, but it's a family uh, via parent. Understood. Current zip code, there we go, got that. Durham, Durham is Duke, correct? Yes, that's right, we're the Bull City, that's right. Raleigh, Durham, Duke, yep. Yeah. Are you glad that uh, Coach K retired? You know what, it was his time to go. I thought he could have retired a few a few a uh, few years ago, um, I thought I thought the way back that Kyrie Irving uh, season way back was going to be it. He was so old, but um, I don't think he could have gone out a better better way. You know, UNC beats Duke. The rivalry continues. It's dead even. I mean, you can't get more storybook than that, can you? Like if he would have won, it wouldn't have been fair. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, do you think he's done? Oh yeah, I mean yeah. Yeah, I think he's done. I mean, the guy's got no hips left. He's 74, 73. What do you think? You think he's going to coach the Lakers? They always want to coach the Lakers when it's time to negotiate a contract, I feel like. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be coaching the Lakers, but I don't think he's done at Duke. Oh, no, no. he's He has his own tower at Duke. No, no. He's going to be hanging out at Duke in his Hall of Fame tower and kind of going to be the old guard. You know, I remember Dean Smith used to come to my middle school. He's, uh, his his uh, his granddaughter was in my class in eighth grade, seventh eighth grade, and I was on the JV team. When she was on the JV team, and he'd come watch them. The girls played before yeah. the boys, and we'd be uh, we'd be warming up, and we're like, "All right, guys, listen, get on your game." Dean Smith's there; he's recruiting for UNC class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, six years from now, you guys, you can if you if you can hit the backboard when you hit a layup, he'll see you have hops. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> You'll have a letter in your locker waiting on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, may I have a good email for you, sir? Yep. It's info, I-N-F-O, at uh, fronterratech.com. Frontera spelled F-R-O-N as in November, T-E-R-A, tech, 
T-E-C-H, FronteraTech.com. Dot com, you say? Yes, sir. All right. And may I have a address for your client? Yes. Uh, so the address for the client, um, now we did a change of address. Let me just make sure we had. Okay, so I'll give you the change of address form first. I'll give you the one that we have on the actual application, and then you can tell me if you need a different one. Okay. Uh, Okay, hold on, let me see. And you're saying that's the, the current address? That's the, the current? one That's the one that we had on the actual form. Let me see if we have, if we have, um, hold on. We have, a, I, I, we have a change of address in our notes for her. Let me just, okay. <laughs> Okay, yep, that's the that was the change of address one. That what I'd said is I'll give you the one on her application originally and then we'll do the change of address. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. Uh, I'm almost done. I do apologize. No, I, I, listen, I'm a vet. I, I get it. I get it. I just don't think he's going to I don't think he can just leave. Like I think he still has his old office and made the new coach have like a new office. Oh gosh, I didn't even read that. I didn't even read that. That's hilarious. Shire used to live, I used to, you know, um, he, Shire used to live in my neighborhood when he was an assistant coach. And uh, that guy could have been a real NBA player in today's NBA. Like, uh, but you know what happened with his eye in training? It was like a summer league. He basically like his, uh, like his, uh, was it retina? I'm not good with biology, but it, it completely got severed off in a scrimmage. No, that's never good. Yeah. And uh, they were like, oh, well, we can't draft you now. <laughs> something like but uh i feel like he could have been a nice three-point shooter you know you know average seven to seven to nine points a game for a contender maybe don't shoot your eye out <laughs> stop it stop it that was so great. when is that appointment sir okay so the appointment is see if i have the interview notice in her file there, it, you know, the 26th yeah the 26th the thursday is what i have what time Oh boy, let's see if we have the interview. No, I can I can look it up real quick for you. No worries. Let me. Maybe it's on our calendar. Probably good. All right. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, it is. I really, 11, yeah. That's what we have. Yeah. All right, sir. Uh, let me type in a note real quick and let him know the reason for the rescheduling. Okay. All right, sir. I'm going to send this in for you. And I'll have a rare a service referral ID number for you once I'm done with that. Great. For those of you out there, remember to write in your service referral ID oh, number somewhere. It's okay, Frontera. Frontera. So it's um, it's like the, it's like the salsa Frontera, like frontier in Spanish. F as in Florida, R as in Roger, O N as in November, T as in Tom, E R as in Roger, A Frontera Tech, T E C H dot com. So, info at Frontera Tech dot com. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, the service referral ID number for you when you're ready to jot it down. I'm ready. Go ahead. Is 
Okay, perfect. All right. And so the the does this mean now that the um, interview is going to be changed, or do, should I follow up tomorrow? You should receive an email on or by the date of. Since you submitted this information before that date, um, don't worry, it's, it'll be rescheduled, especially because of the issue of COVID. Okay. So you are just waiting for that response via email to let you know that it's been granted, and then they will send out a new scheduled date to your client. Okay, perfect. All right. Very good. Thank you so much. And you were able to confirm me. This is just for my edification. So, you know, if we have another situation where the G20 doesn't immediately show up, you were able to confirm me by looking at her file, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I was able to look at um, one of our uh, systems and confirm that. Okay, perfect. Do you know the name of the system so I can cite it to future officers? It's PCQS. PCQS. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. And listen, may, uh, may, uh, are you a UNC fan? Michigan fan? No. What's the, what's the school? No, I, I, Arizona would probably be the one I root for. The most. I'm, I'm a Michigan guy. Okay. So that, that well, makes it, go. yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right, man. All right. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for your help. Right. Thanks for the laugh. All Take right. Care. You too. Right. Bye. Oh my God. What a friendly, friendly USCIS officer. Okay. So let me just do a recap of what we just did. <clears throat> Uh, number one, we heard the new USCIS prompt, which is very friendly. And number two, we got an officer within four minutes, which, hey, uh, that is a huge, uh, huge thing in the middle of the afternoon here on a Tuesday. USCIS, I commend you. I like the new prompt. I like the I, options, you know, either talk to live chat or talk to somebody now. That's the way USCIS used to be. That's the way it should be. So these are great changes. I just want to give, uh, you know, thumbs up. Number two thing, we we saw this um, challenge arise immediately where even though I had a G28 in, I was receiving the receipts as an attorney, they weren't seeing me in the system. And uh, I was able to still be able to gain access to the file by asking the officer to, uh, you know, basically check check the other system, check the file to see if, if there's any other way they could recognize that there was an attorney of record on the file. They were able to enter something called the PCQS system, which I haven't heard of before, but that's really interesting to know. You know, if you're an attorney watching this or a representative and your G28 doesn't come up immediately, ask the officer to check the PCQS system to see if they can see your G28 there. So that's just a really good bit of info we gained from that conversation. Otherwise, the officer was extremely friendly. That's one of, that goes, def, that's definitely like top five uh, most uh, friendly calls I've ever had with USCIS. And by maintaining um, just a very uh, calm, very loose demeanor, always respectful, I was able to ultimately get to what I needed, which was rescheduling the interview. In this case, my client has COVID, so that was one of the reasons. If you had other reasons, you would state those. Um, sometimes the officer will say, well, that might be not be a good enough reason, and you can kind of expound, you know, explain why it might be. But the whole time, you want to maintain a good, friendly, kind of even tone and be very clear about what you're looking to do. The officer has a lot of calls that they do during the day. The more you sound like you know what you're doing and you know what you need, the better off you'll be. So that combination of being friendly and loose and knowing what you need to do are key here. I hope this was uh, helpful for those of you looking to reschedule your I-485 interview. We even learned something new. So uh, thank you so much. This is Law Great. My name is Damien Denoble. I am working from home, which is why I have these awesome digs on. And uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it. It helps us uh, get good information out there. Take care.